Welcome to 519 Diecast. I got my weekend haul here and it's not really the whole weekend because it's only Saturday and I still got tomorrow to hunt but uh, I got quite a bit today I guess and I uh, just figured I might as well make a video on it. So I got some I got some green light, I got some uh, M2, some Johnny Lightnings, Jada and a bunch of Hot Wheels. So uh, we're going to take a look at these. So the first one I got here is uh, Green Light Hollywood. And it's uh, Field of Dreams on the top there. So she's from the movie, which is pretty cool. It's a 124 scale. This is a 1973 Volkswagen Type 2. Now, I don't remember this vehicle in the uh, movie. I do know the movie, but I don't remember this vehicle. But it's still pretty cool. I'm going to have to watch the video and take a look at it. But uh, yeah, it's got a peace symbol in the uh, windshield there. It's kind of neat. It's got black interior, red exterior, and a roof. And it's really weathered. You can tell it's weathered. And She's been down a few dirt roads, I guess. And she's missing the hubcap on the back there. But uh, all in all, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty neat anyways. So I grabbed her. I might just get rid of some of this big stuff first. And then we got this... Uh, Fast and Furious set. This is uh, or not the set, but one car of it, and it's Letty Chevy Corvette. Now I thought this was pretty sharp, so I had to get it. It's nice red, black wheels, black interior. Thing is really a nice looking car. And again, I don't collect this scale, but it seems like I'm getting a lot of them lately. But this thing is awful sharp. A good looking car for sure I'm not a big fast and furious guy but the car it's awesome love it that's awesome and then I picked up this thing and it's the Blues Brothers it's a 1974 Dodge Monaco Blues Mobile and a 2015 hundred and flatbed trailer now this is an older one and this is the first time I've seen it, so I grabbed it because uh, I've never seen this one before. And I got some Blues Brothers cars last week, I guess it was. This thing is pretty cool. It's even got a little dirt, like it's been weathered there. So it's been out cruising, I guess. And then, of course, the Blues Mobile right there. That thing is sweet. I like that. That thing is awesome. Fantastic job on that one. They did a great job with that. And of course the trailer. Again, they do they do nice uh, trailers for sure. Green light. And this is older and the date on the back is 2016. So I'm guessing that's when she's from. And of course I just started collecting just over a year ago. So of course I wouldn't have seen this. And this is the first time seeing it and I think it's awesome. I absolutely love that one. That is cool. And then, we'll go with this one here. This is a 1970s Chevy C60 truck and a 1968 Pontiac Firebird 400 HO. I grabbed it because I ain't never seen this one before. I thought that was cool. It's got dual axles on the back of her. It's Sprite. I don't know the year that this come out or anything, but I don't have that casting, and I do now. I think that is cool. It's got like an extra long box on her. Dual axle. The thing is sweet. And, of course, the uh, Firebird on the back. It looks pretty good in this white with the uh, green stripe. I think it looks good anyways. Pretty sharp unit altogether. I really like this. Now I don't know, like I bought this at a uh, yard sale and uh, I'm thinking there might have been a toolbox on the front of this and it's missing. But it doesn't matter. I'm uh, I'm quite happy just to get that truck. I think that truck is cool. And there's the, the back of the Firebird. Not bad. But yeah, I think she's missing the toolbox. But whatever it doesn't matter I'm good with it pretty nice little set I think and then I picked up this here 
1941's Willie's Coop Gasser. Of course it's Gasser. It's Moon Eyes. So yeah, I had to grab it. I think that thing is awesome. I have lots of Gassers in my collection and I have lots of Willies. And uh, again, this Willie's Gasser. And it's got skinny little tires on the back, which is totally wrong. Uh, last week I showed a couple and they got the big tires on the back and I think that is awesome and that's what should have happened with this one too but they didn't do it I don't know why kind of goofy with skinny little tires on the back but whatever it's still pretty cool casting I like it and that's why I grabbed her and then I picked up this here green light this is a 1968 Volkswagen Type 2 double cab pickup now it's got a tow hook in the back of her. I don't think this is ever made in real life. I don't imagine, but it says Volkswagen specialists on the side, cars, vans, and buses. Sales and service. I've never seen this casting, not with the tow hook under anyways. So that's why I grabbed this one. I thought it was very unique. Definitely different, but it's awesome. Let me Getting a lot of Volkswagens lately. I don't know what's up with that. It's, uh, I don't know. It's different. And then we got some Johnny Lightning. And uh, this come from the yard sale. And it, I was a yard sale in Dutton, which is a small little town just outside uh, where I'm at. And uh, they always said there ain't nothing in Dutton. Well, they're wrong because there's die cast there. This uh, guy was only selling die cast cars, so. I was happy to see all that. And it, this one here is a 1937 Ford Coupe. And it's done in purple. The The blister's getting yellow and stuff. It's an older model for sure. It is pretty sweet unit though. I like that car. And of course it comes with the uh, little game piece there. To play with. Now, I don't know what year. I should have looked at the back of this thing to see any years. But... It says 2005 yeah, it could be I don't know but I thought that was pretty cool I like it and then I got another one and this is another monopoly monopoly and this is a 32 Ford Roadster that thing is sweet again these the blisters turning yellow I'm okay with it that is a nice car Johnny Lightning do some nice stuff. And of course it comes with the game piece on her. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I wish I played Monopoly because I'd be using these little things. But eh, I don't have time for them games yet. But anyways, that's that one. Pretty cool. And then I got this here Zinger from Johnny Lightning. And she's a 55 Chevy two-door sedan. I, I was pretty sharp. That is neat. I think they did a pretty neat job of that one. I like that. It's brown with... I guess there's supposed to be flames on the side there. And the card art there. It's actual card. And that's pretty cool. I like this. This is pretty neat. It's a zinger, so... Of course their chassis are up in the air. Their chassis are built up like a... I don't know, Drag racing car, I guess. I don't know. They're jacked up anyways. They're definitely different, but they're cool. I like them. And then I got this here. This is American Hero American Heroes USA. And this is a 1958 Chevy Bus County Sheriff. So this is like a prisoner's bus. Well, I couldn't leave that behind. I had to grab that for sure. That is cool. And again, the blisters turned yellow got an American flag and I'm guessing that's probably a sticker there uh, oh yeah it says right there I need to read these things show your pride bonus window clinging so it's maybe just a clinger but I think it's a sticker but I don't know but that is cool that is pretty neat I like that that was right on I don't have a lot of buses in my collection but uh that's just cool. I really like that because it is a prisoner's bus. That's what I'm guessing. 
So with that bus, I got another bus. And this one's actually Cat in the Hat. I was surprised to see that. But again, it's the same casting. But it's just Cat in the Hat. It's pretty cool. Cat in the Hat on the, the roof there. I don't know. There it is. Yeah, it's definitely different paint job on her for sure. I do like the prisoner bus a little better. I think that's a little more cooler. <laughs> but cat and hat's all right. Don't mind cat and hat. Definitely different. And then I got some Hot Wheels coming here. And this one here is Sweet Tarts. And the reason I grabbed this one because of this casting. I have never seen this casting before. So I picked her up. I I had another one that I never had before either, a casting. And I think it was in last week's video. And I'm trying to think what it was. I think it's Beauty and the Beast or something. And uh, it was a neat casting. And I don't have them. But I have these ones now. That is just cool. Love that casting. And it's a custom 52 Chev. That's all it says. Sweet tarts. Actually, I'd like to get the whole series of this now that I see what it is on the back. Yeah. You never know. I might find it. I'm not going to hold my breath. Actually, that 34 Dodge Delivery was the other casting I didn't have. So I, that's the one I got last week. Uh, that's cool. I love it. And then I got this here, 5-pack. Which, the only reason I picked this 5-pack up was that right there. That there is the drag strip. It says on the side, 1955. I don't know how well you're going to see that. I'm going to lift my camera a little bit. That thing is cool. Love it. That's the only reason I picked this up. Absolutely love that. 55. Yeah, there's the other cars. Eh, not too interested in them, but that 55, absolutely. I was all over that. Oh, we got that one. And then now we're into some more Hot Wheels. Now this one here is the Mystery Machine. I wasn't sure if I had it. And uh, guess what? I do have it. So this is a spare, I guess. It is cool. Mystery machine. You gotta love it. I think that's great. So yeah, I got two of these little jiggers now. This is, I'm good with it. Now we're getting into these Hot Wheels. Now these are different ones I've picked up from the yard sale, actually. And uh, of course, I didn't have one of these Hot Wheel Classics. I can remember anyways and uh, it's a highway hauler so yeah you got to have the highway hauler with these classics they put some pretty nice paint on them it's uh, like a spectra of paint I guess but it's got flames all over the box it's pretty cool back doors that uh, was neat fantastic and actually I picked up quite a few old Hot Wheels which there's so many of them I have to do a separate video and they're pretty cool actually and uh, this one here is a Ford Thunderbolt I collect Ford Thunderbolts I had no idea this one was out there and uh, as soon as I seen it I had to get it for sure this thing is awesome it says police on the side it's a uh, cop rods from Hot Wheels and it's a Ford Thunderbolt so that is cool. I love them. Love the Thunderbolts. So I had to get it. I couldn't leave that one behind. Absolutely not. That is awesome. And then, what do we got here? We got a 1969 Chevelle SS 396. Um, I've got quite a few of these Chevelles. I couldn't remember if I had it in yellow with the stripe, the red and blue stripe on it. So I grabbed her, and I don't think I do have this one, but I do now. I think that's cool. Love that one. That is awesome. And then we have this here, Dodge Sidewinder. And it had Hot Wheels all over it, so it reminds me of the Hot Wheels uh, race team, which is what I collect. It's got the number 9 on it. It doesn't say it's part of the race team, but it's got Hot Wheels on the side, so yeah, I had to get it. It's pretty cool. Definitely a different little buggy for sure. But I like it. It's awesome. Then we have the 55 Chevy again. This one is in yellow with purple flames. Again, another one. If I 
don't know if I had it or not. Uh, I've got so many of these things now, it's it's hard to keep track of what I got and what I don't have. And when you're out hunting, it's kind of the spur of the moment, yes or no. And I took a yes on this one because it's just awesome. Love the casting. Alrighty. And then I got this here, Combat Medic. And I ain't seen this one before. Uh, that's why I grabbed her, of course. And this thing is pretty cool. I have lots of these uh, trucks, but uh, not this paint job. I think that is pretty cool. I like that. Combat Medic. It's awesome. And then I got here is part of the race team, and it's the uh, off-road excitement here. And it's a Baja Bug. That is cool. Didn't have this one. I do for sure now, which is awesome, but it, it's two of four, so I don't know if this race team one had just four cars in it or what, but I'm sure I will find out. Just have to look this one up and see what it all involves with it. So, that is cool. Love it. And then I got this Turbo Flame. Again, it says Hot Wheels on the side. I don't think it's part of the Hot Wheels race team, but... I got her anyways because it does say Hot Wheels on the side. It is an odd, odd casting. I don't quite understand it. But uh, it's different. But it's alright. We got her. And then I got this Nova. It's the uh, first edition actually, 2004. And it's a 1968 Nova. And I know I didn't have this one. And that's why I grabbed it. Kind of a, a bluey gray with white striping on it. It's got the racing stripes on the top there on the hood. This thing is very sharp. It's got white interior. I thought it was a great looking car. So that is nice. I do like that. And I got this here 69 Dodge Charger 500 because of those little moon eyes. Now I like moon eye stuff. This kind of looks like a bumblebee or something. Because of it's all black and yellow. It's got the uh, racing stripes on the hood and the trunk there. Yellow interior. Yellow rim. Uh, it's just neat. It's definitely different. Uh, that was cool. And I'm positive I don't have that one. I'm absolutely positive. But I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. And, uh, and then we got this Wastelands. This is a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. I have this in yellow and this is the first time seeing it in green so yeah I had to take it that is a very sharp green it's got the uh, red striping on it reddish orange I guess Hot Wheels on the side it's Hot Wheels collections I think it's cool and even the blister is, is made to fit the car which is a little different I like that that is a sharp looking machine there. And then I got this here. 1955 Bel Air Gasser. Gotta have the gassers. Love them. And uh, I know I don't have this one. So that's why I got it. And it's actually in a short card. Which is kind of cool. It's got a different paint on it. It's kind of a... I don't know. It it's, almost looks like it's a flat paint. I don't know. It's a different colored paint. But it's cool. Love it. Absolutely love it. That's awesome. And then I got this Hot Wheels 500, two of four. And I'm, again, I would guessing it was Hot Wheels uh, race team. Hot Wheels on the side, so I had to get it. That uh, was pretty sharp. That is neat. Yeah, I like these things. And then. Well, we got the 79 Ford pickup. I have this already. I know I have this. I probably got two or three of them. But every time I see these trucks, I have to pick it up. I'm not a hoarder or nothing like that. But I guess I am kind of. Because when it comes to these trucks, I have to pick it up. I can't walk past these ones for some reason. I love them. Awesome. Well, of course, I 
drove one of these right up until about four years ago. So I guess that's probably why I'm attached to those vehicles. And then we have a 1962 Chevy pickup. Now I wasn't sure if I had this one or not. Mm, I was kind of up in the air so I just grabbed it. I probably do, but I'm not sure. But it is pretty cool. And it's got like a surfboard in the back. Same casting. This casting's been around for quite some time now, I guess. And I just keep re bringing it out. But I still like it. And then we got the Corvette race car. And this is part of the Hot Wheels race team. And uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. And that's why I picked it up. And it's got the roll bar in the back. This thing is cool. 69 in the back. Yeah, that is nice. Love it. Love the paint when they do these ones. Seems like the uh, Hot Wheels race team, they put nicer paint on them for some reason. Kind of neat. And then I got this here, 1971 Datsun Bluebird 510 Wagon. I've never seen this one, so that's why I grabbed it. Not in this paint job. I have this casting many times, but not in this paint job. That's why I grabbed this one. That thing is awesome. And then we have the Volkswagen T2 pickup. Now, I didn't have this casting. I don't have this casting whatsoever. This is my first casting of this. I think that's pretty cool. At least not that I remember having any of these. I'm pretty near positive I don't. This is my first one. That uh, was pretty cool. And that says two, new for 2017. Well, I've only been collecting for a year and a half, so or a year, not even a year and a half, a year and a little bit. So a lot of this stuff is really new to me, even though it's 2017. But uh, the other set I did pick up that I will be showing later this week is uh, this 30th anniversary or 30 years it's actually 30 years of Hot Wheels and I've got I don't know how many I picked up a lot of them today I still got to take a look at them all and uh, there's some pretty cool ones in it and I know the drag bus is in there and I think that's gonna be a favorite for most but uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one because it's going to be interesting. It's got a lot of nice cars in it. So, I guess if you like that, uh, hit that like and subscribe, eh? And uh, thanks for watching. See ya!